TV Weekend Edition. My name is Shiran Dohochre and this is Talk of the Nation. The newly elected Chadondo East Member of Parliament, Robert Chagulanyi, also known as Bobby Wine, did what majority of Ugandans did not expect him to do, beating seasoned politicians with the backing of well-established political parties. Bobby Wine has previously used his music, which focuses more on the plight of the urban poor youth, as a tool for activism. From a laid-back, sometimes ratchet-looking Bobby Wine to a sharp-looking, suit-wearing, sporting a clean haircut. But how did this all begin, and what's his future as a legislator? I'm now joined by the man of the moment, Robert Senta Mochaglani, alias Bobby Wine, on Talk of the Nation. Welcome, you're watching NTV Weekend Edition. Congratulations, Bobby Wayne. Thank you, Sheila. From the president of Uganda, Uganda, or oh, Uganda. Ghetto. Ghetto. Yeah. To now a honorable member of parliament. Those are two different worlds. Yeah. Has it sunk in yet? Has it, do you feel it? Do you feel it? You tell me. No, do you feel it? I don't know. I was covering <laughs> the election. <laughs> you tell me. I don't know. Well, <coughs> it's exciting. Um... But unlike the very many people out there that didn't expect it, I expected it because I believed it. I saw it. Mm -hmm. But of course, I was a little nervous. Did these people understand what I said? Did, was I able to awaken their conscience? Did I communicate to them well? Did they actually believe it? Mm -hmm. But again, after the elections, I realized, yeah. Now they know what I mean. Yeah. Okay, let's just go backwards a bit because we know your brothers, two of your brothers, uh, Eddie Away, Fred Nyanzi, also known as Chairman Nyanzi, yeah. have had an attempt at politics before. What was that point in your life where you, the point, the moment <coughs> of conviction where you said, I need to go and run? What was that point that caused you to do that? Actually, you only talked about uh, my brothers when you went back. I wish you could go back to oh, my your grandfather. your family as well, yeah. yeah. They were involved um, in the revolution. Yeah, they were involved in the revolution uh, that brought in uh, the current regime mm -hmm. in power. But however, as a person, I grew up not wanting to associate myself with politics because I grew up in the era of bad politics where politics meant trouble, meant death, meant division, meant all negative things. However, as I grew up, I started seeing things that I kept hoping somebody would stand up to them. But again, I'm getting older and older, nothing is changing. So I realized if I want some change, I have to be that change. Yeah. And before I knew, I was running for an election. Yeah. At what point did you make up your mind to do that? Um, I'd been thinking about it, but after the 2016 elections, I must say, at first it was kind of an emotional decision. You see, I'd wanted to keep out of this, but again, options kept running out. And uh, after the 2016 elections, I looked around and said, yo, how can this go <laughs> unchallenged? Mm -hmm. said, okay, if nobody is going to deal with this, I am going to deal with this. Okay, so now we have Katinti being thrown out of Parliament. Some have actually said that you were an opportunist because I'm told FD, some senior FDC officials even asked you to wait until 2021 because they had Katinti who had <coughs> won fairly, but you decided to come and run against some advice of some key officials within the party. So actually, if anybody is calling me an opportunist for standing up to my right, then I encourage every Ugandan to be an opportunist, to seize opportunity whenever it comes. The people of Chadondo, if opportunism is the word you want to call them, then they're opportunists. They look at an opportunity to have their voice projected and they will seize that opportunity. And I encourage every other Ugandan to think like that. I mean, nobody has a right to tell you when to demand for your rights, when to stand up to what's wrong and make it right. Um, I, I don't belong to any party. However, I was born in a DP family, and I cherish truth and justice that they stand for, but I was not fully represented by its leadership. Um, I respect FDC party, and I'm personal friends with Dr. VCJ, and I've stood with them in all their you know, operations, especially 
when I see that they stand for what's right. Did you feel However, disappointed that they didn't back you? I, I would have been disappointed if I expected too much, but I'm this kind of person that does not expect too much from people. Uh, of course, I, there was a little disappointment because um, not from the party. I mean, it has always been said by Dr. Besige, the People's President, that what Uganda needs today is not just the parties, but Ugandans to come together and change what they have to change. But to differ from him a little bit, I believe that Ugandans should change the way they think and the way they look at the possibilities of change, seize the opportunity of democracy and maximize it. Okay, yeah. so let's now talk about you getting into parliament. We've had a lot of people, you very charismatic, it's a credit, very charismatic, you speak truth to power, you've used your music to do activism, but there are a lot of people like you, we've had, you know, get into a political space, very energetic, and telling us all sorts of things that we believed. Unfortunately, they get there, and they find a clogged political system, where NRM, or the government, ruling government, has a lot of the numerical strength. So you sort of get bogged down by that. Aren't you afraid that you could fall in that same trap? Well, I came to be different. Um, if I was scared of that, I would have felt the same thing. I mean, I'm running against two established parties, and one of them is in power and all that. I'm not that kind of guy. When I see where I want to go, mm -hmm. I will walk there. If opportunity closes the door, I will walk through the wall. That's me. Yeah. Okay, so I want you to give us in specific terms mm. how exactly you're going to maneuver that. Because, like I said, a lot of them come with high hopes, you know, speaking all those s s sort of mosaic or slogans, change. But you get there and you're just like them. you part of the animal farm that we read about. Actually, you can choose to be just like them, or you can choose to be different. Choice is one thing that God gave to you. Um, I'm not going to parliament to fight with anybody or to serve anybody. I am going to parliament to represent my people, to speak exactly what is being spoken on the street. I'm just like another street guy who walks in parliament and says, okay, I have the formal opportunity to say this. I'm going to say it. I'm going to parliament to preach even to the MPs. But again, to bring, to connect um, the common man to the parliament, I'm sure you guys of the media will be there and you'll see what I'll be talking about. And I want even the people from other constituencies to start demanding their MPs to say the same. What are some of those things that you're most passionate about? We've heard them in your music, yeah. but if you could just tell us now, what are some of those things that you want to start with when you are given that maiden speech or in your maiden speech or you know you have an opportunity to catch the speaker's eye what are those things that you think you'll be very passionate about most of the things right now um involvement is important like getting people involved well i'm i don't expect too much from the parliament inside but being a honorable member of parliament i'll say what i've been saying through my music more confidently, I'll be able to preach to the young Ugandans to get involved. I'm not saying I'm going to be the solution to everything. Mm -hmm. I just want to evoke that spirit of involvement, of ownership for these people to own their country, to, to give them more confidence that they can actually stand up to what is right and they can be supported. I'm not coming in to be another kind of politician, but I want to learn from the different people and do things rightly. Because these guys who are in parliament are, are smart. Mm -hmm. They just need to have, they have good heads. They only need to have good hearts. You do think they don't have them? I didn't say they don't have them, but it just kind of sounded like that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's talk about you as a musician and you as a politician. You as a student, you're doing yeah, law. Yeah. How is that going, by the way? Before we can it's going the good, man. It's going good. We have exams on Monday. It's crazy, eh? <laughs> yeah, I was in the studio. I did my album. Maybe I release it sometime okay. after this craziness goes down. Have you been reading for the exams? Yeah, I read. I read at night. 
and daytime I'm on the road campaigning and telling these guys give me votes. But now it is less stress, you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> at least I'm empty already. Why are you laughing at me? No, I'm not laughing. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm not laughing at you. Yeah. But I'm enjoying the interview. Okay, so let's talk about the comparison between you as a musician, you as a student, and you as a member of parliament. How do you intend to balance that? Who, which of those are we going to miss? You know, because you'll have to you know, okay, get rid of, of all, one. Okay, first of I want you to know that I do many things. Not just singing and, you know, only that people know me so much for my music, but mm. I'm, I'm also a trader, I'm a farmer. I'm a into real estate, man. Yeah. yeah, I do different things to, to survive. However, um, much as I've known for music, it does not even consume 10% of my time. I'm blessed with the talent that I can do a song in just a, a, an overnight. Um, music is a hobby that yeah. I turned into a job of sorts. Um, I mean, I don't study every day. I went back to school because I want to get more knowledge. And then even... Parliament does not consume all week, does mm. not consume all the time. But it involves a lot of, you know, reading, understanding the bills, if there are any bills before Parliament. Yeah. You know, so traveling sometimes, benchmark here and there. You might lose out some time on your school or your music. Nah, let me tell you something. Those are, those are, those are, those things are hard to easy people. But to hard people, they that are not. <laughs> and I'm <laughs> a hard guy. <laughs> Okay, so yeah. the other thing I wanted to ask you, we're now getting into the your other life away from Parliament. Yeah. You've <coughs> been accused before of being a drug addict. Yeah. You have previously confessed that marijuana is your sometimes <coughs> gives you the creativity. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> is that going to change? You see, <coughs> Obama smoked marijuana before. Um, Uhuru Kenyatta smoked marijuana before. I've seen so many people, even big shots in our government, that have smoked marijuana before. That was my life then, you understand? I grew up from Kamocha. I beat guys in the club. You've seen that on the news before when I was growing. I've grown up in the camera, but everybody else has grown up somewhere. They have their story. I've grown through this to the man that I am today, and I've learned a lot from it. And that is why I present myself, mm -hmm. so I can turn other guys exactly into what I've turned into. Yes, you know all this, these crazy things about me. But look what I've turned into. Don't you like it? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so are you saying that you, you and Marina, marijuana are no more? Or drugs? Okay, listen, Sheila. There is a Bobby Wine that... You knew from 2000. And we all have a history anyway. We all have a history. Mm -hmm. But here I'm not here to represent the life that I lived before. I'm not here to represent the beers that I used to drink as a young man as I drive. I'm not here to represent the scars that I have on my back in these ghetto fights. I'm here to represent a story of this young man that wants a better life. Mm -hmm. We all go through it. If you have not gone through it, maybe you're lucky. But so many people have not been lucky. They okay, I'm sorry I have to stick there for some time. You say you're not here to represent it, but there are people that have drawn inspiration from you because of that. So we just need to know, on record, yeah. have you parted ways with that life? Are we now going to see a different whole lot Bobby Wine, who probably comes into Parliament sober, there's a bill, hard bill to crunch on, but remain sober. Okay, this is Bobby Wine for you. Guy that was born in Kamocha, grew up, went to school, met Bobby, mm -hmm. transformed, had the family, wedded his wife, went back to school, came, ran for member of parliament, and now is a legislator. Does that show you any transformation? There is a transformation. Does that show you that I'm a new person? Does that answer your question? Thank you very much. <laughs> Okay, so the other question, of course, is on your colleague in the music, Bobby, Bebe Cool. Yeah. He What's again about Bebe Cool? No, <laughs> I have to ask you, because yes. he recently said that people, musicians who uh. get into politics go in for money and do not have music at heart. How would you respond to Bebe Cool? Well, actually, there are so many people, not everybody thinks as I think. That's why not everybody supports me. 
um, now that you picked him out in particular, I'll try to answer that with all due respect. Bebe Cool is my old comrade. We grew up together in the mu music industry, but we don't grow up at the same pace, you understand? And we choose priorities, you know. I've lived a life, like I told you, uh, I've lived my life in segments. I learn new things mm -hmm. and I open myself to transformation. I don't know what I'm going to be tomorrow, but at least I'm glad and proud of what I am today. And um, you said politicians are poor. Well, I'm not a politician. You're in politics now. Now you're sounding like a politician. Politicians are those that deny that they're not politicians. Yes, I am not a politician because the word politician does not represent me. You understand the kind of the word politics to me represents a different thing. I'd rather be identified as a leader, mm -hmm. and um, <coughs> maybe to dwell a little bit on 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 um, him. Cool, yeah. Yes, um, we see things in a different way, and we have different priorities. I respect him for what he is. I don't know what he thinks about me, but I think what I I am today is more useful to my family and my country mm -hmm. than what I was yesterday. I'm not into leadership for the money or politics as you would like to call it. No. I made sure I make enough money before I go into leadership. And you know many uh, if if his idea is going into politics for the money, then I beg to defer. Okay. Yeah. The other issue I would want to put to you is um what are some of the things that you're going to miss? Because again like we have you know just highlighted before you're taking on a new responsibility. You're taking on a new position. There's suddenly some things that you probably are going to leave along the way. What are some of those things? Actually, this responsibility is not new. I've been talking for my people through my music. You now have a different a long platform. Time. It's only more formal. Mm -hmm. It's only more formal that I'm going to do it in Parliament, and uh, I hope to get more formal attention, and I'm optimistic that it will bear result. However, I'm... Um, what will I miss? See. Nothing. Really? Yeah. Okay, so the other thing is, of course, you're, you're not just representing Kasangati. You're mm. a musician, a yes. celebrated musician at that. You probably are going to also spe be speaking for musicians or the music industry. Yeah. How do you intend to influence parliament uh, towards the music industry? What, what balance is there for you? Well, <coughs> you seem to lock me only into the music angle, but even musicians have families. That's what you're most popular for. You have other things. So you'd rather identify me for what I'm popular for? Yes, for this purpose of this interview. Okay. But for other interviews, we shall dwell on others, but for Thank now. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. um, the music industry, I believe my comrades in the music or entertainment industry have lots of hope mm -hmm. in me. And yes, um, I always love to look at examples you know, look at the Nigerian music industry, how it's booming and how their creative um, people, the artists and the authors are um, earning from it and prospering. Then dig deep into their legislation, what makes them tick. Pick a few things, learn from them, bring them to Uganda. Me, I'm this kind of guy that likes to copy good things, yeah. Emulate them, bring it into your legislation. Okay, yeah. now... There's, when you were declared, mm. or when people saw that you were actually going to win, there's been a lot of um, thoughts popping up in people's minds. Some have been made public, including the fact that you could actually be eyeing for a bigger position. Would you consider, and this is a yes or no answer, would you consider running for president of this country? Uh, am I that serious? <laughs> and are you that serious? <laughs> <laughs> no. I'd rather not cross bridges before I reach them. As of now, I'm focusing on representing the people of Chad on the east. Mm -hmm. and I, I'm, I'm ghetto president, yo. So I'm president already. No, let's be more... Okay, let's... I understand and I accept that. Okay. But let's be more... Because there are people there who are watching and have these questions in their mind. So it would be prudent that you address them. Would you consider running for a higher office than a member of parliament? How about we first deliver on the responsibility that has been entrusted with us? You know, Paulo Cafero sang a song, Hakasanke Kakulema, Okugayo, Kamaku, Manyo, Kamalevio, Katueka Niki, and Timampe Ninganga, 
when they give you a piece of chicken, eat it well. If you eat it well, then you can talk of other things. Mm. I don't want to come here and start talking about things that, you know, Let's talk about my responsibility as new MP for Chad Dondo East. Okay. Yeah. Of course, there have been memes. You know the memes on social media? Mm -hmm. That one of them is that you address, of course, this is fiction. Mm -hmm. You address, speak of parliament as your Becky, you know, using the language that you've been using. Mm -hmm. How would you respond to those people who think that you're actually going to, ca or are you going mm -hmm. to carry on the language into parliament? Or how do you intend to do that? Um, you need to draw it a line here, which many people don't. We have His Excellency Bobby Wine, the Ghetto President, and we have Honorable Chagulani Sentamu, the new MP for Chad on the East. Right now, you're talking to Honorable Chagulani Sentamu, the MP elect Chad on the East. You want to talk to Bobby Wine? I'm speaking to Bobby Wine, Chagulani, a.k.a. Bobby Wine. Oh, you, in your mind, you're talking to both of them? Then I would be giving you some good vibes if you're talking to Bobby Wine as well. Okay, we are closing. <laughs> can, we, can you just, can you just, the people that are probably watching you for the first time, yeah. just do us five seconds of an acapella. Five seconds of an acapella? Of probably <coughs> just summing up your win and how you intend to transition because you're a very creative person. No, it has been, I've talked about this before, only that people didn't understand. Actually, they didn't understand me. Yeah. I would say, Bobanga was a liwa mugeto, no kulira mugeto, osomira mugeto, obo kulira mugeto, bolovera mugeto, no sigala mugeto, eyeva kompola yanse, na ye, bozali wa mugeto, no kulira mugeto, osovolo kuyimuka, no chikirira geto, bova mugeto, no tulana bakuru, eyeva defiance. Now you know what I mean. Made me single you should be more defiant, non compliant. Thank you so much, Robert Chaglani. Thank you, Shana. Thank you, and all the best in Parliament. That Good. was Talk of the Nation.